Utopian Chronicles, Multidimensions, Episode 29, The Battle of Immortals, Part 4, The Battle Heats Up. The will of the Jayas had finally came to an end by the Lavlors, but the battle was far from over. The dark wizard Kovac had appeared before Singer. Kovac, take this, fires a dark engineer. Singer, dodges. Ah, you again. Well, you, you are very persistent. Kovat, this place shall be your grave, Andrew. Singer, I think I shall be the one to decide where my grave is, eh? As they fought, Dasa, soundly, Dasa was soundly defeated and retreated. When Weasel made his way to his nephew, Junior. Junior, I never consider you my family, Weasel. Weasel, for once we agree on something, boy. While they fought, both Junior's mom and Weasler's sister, Zanine, was facing the plastic troops. Zanine, Oz Pro and FC2? What stupid names. My husband gave you guys a chance to live, and you wasted on a foolish quest for vengeance. I will finish you both myself. Oz and FC2 together said, Just come and try it. Zanine, then spinned as fast as the wind, deflecting the plastic attacks. Next, she activated her blades on her chain spinner to cut FC2 and Oz Pro to bits. Because she was moving so fast, Oz and FC2 had no time to react, and so they both lost their heads. Seeing that the power was going their way, Natasha and Sonoma decided now was the time to confront Zen Orange and the Zephyr at the fort. The fort had one bridge to get to it from the main battlefield. As the pair got closer, Toro ordered his first part of his plan in motion. Toro, now, blow up the bridge. With the bridge out, there was no way to get into Zen now. Natasha, Godfather. Both my father and brother are fighting bravely. As the daughter and sister respectfully, I must fight as well. My shield and sword. So no one then replied, Yes, my lady. Natasha, it is time to free Godfather from his chains and end this war. We are going after Chevalier. Let's go. As the two made their way south, Fupo and Devi were determined to stop them. Oh no, where do you think you're going? Devi, as long as I draw breath, no one shall get to my lord. So no one then replied, Operation No More shall become complete when your lord is dead by my hand. Natasha, stand in my way and both of y'all shall die. Prepare yourselves. As these two duros fought each other, a familiar face managed to sneak behind the southern castle and ambush Chevalier. Chevalier, barely getting out his sword in time. Curse you! How, how are you alive, Maverick? Maverick, I am the son of Queen Anexa and the brother of Carissa Albino. You can't kill a prime that easily. Christina got wind of Maverick's return. My lord has returned. Oh, what a happy day. Kova, damn it. That fool still lives. Andrew, Andrew Sr. Catch you slipping. Eat this. Wow. With a quick slash, Kovat was defeated. Upon his retreat, Kovat said, I'll see you in hell on the floor. Singer, is that a threat? I promise, I wonder. Then Kingsley showed up behind Singer. Kingsley, my old friend. No, my nemesis. I've come for you at last. Singer, you are not at the level to be called my nemesis. I am sorry, Kingsley. You're just not good enough. Kingsley, infuriated. Why must you always bring me down, Andrew? Why? As these two clashed, Junior had just slain his unwanted uncle, Weasel. Then, like the like, then, like almost expecting it, he powered up to face the ultimate rival. He had appeared. Ultimate KGM Bean. Well now, that your warm up is over. Yes, I was waiting 
for you. I was wondering also when you will show Ultimate KG and me. Should we get this settled once and for all then? Junior, yes. No more words are necessary. The two bitter rivals clash and a mini explosion occurred. The battle was heating up and soon the main event would begin.